Hi, my name is Jonas Elrod, and this week we're in Austin, Texas, getting ready to meet with sports superstar Vince Young. Vince Young experienced a meteoric rise as a football star in college and the NFL. As a starting quarterback, you really had it all. But today, at only 30 years old, it's pretty much gone. His career, his wealth, his dream. Vince was drafted from the Tennessee Titans midseason, and he's been sidelined ever since. Now, Vince is a sports icon down here, but I don't watch sports. I'm more interested in the man and to see what it looks like to walk a spiritual path in a world full of fame, fortune, and ego. Is that you? Uh, that's the Rose Bowl in 2006 year. Is that a defining moment for you? Uh, that's one of my defining moments. That was a goal that I wanted to, to accomplish when I got to the University of Texas, is uh, win a national championship. 1920? Wow. 21? Something in that range. Yeah, I'm a baby. I grew up with uh, definitely a bunch of women. You know, my two older sisters, my mom, my two grandmothers. In the low, low income community, poor family, didn't have much. Me being the man of the house, I had to do some things and had to grow up pretty fast because um, I had to watch, to watch the women of the house, making sure all the doors are locked, uh, taking out the trash, um, just trying to um, do my part as a young man. Where was your father during these times? It sounds like you grew up without a <laughs> father, but with strong, strong women. Yeah. He got caught doing some things that he wasn't supposed to be doing. He got locked up for a pretty long time. Didn't get a chance to much be around him a lot or see him. You know, my mom and my family taught me the different ways to overcome those obstacles and continue to keep striving um, for your goals. On June 6, 2007, Jen underwent the duodenal switch, a major and potentially life-threatening surgery that reduces your stomach to roughly the size of a banana. The more evasive part of the surgery is that it reroutes your intestines, so you absorb less fat. We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.